Principles and Processes of Learning The Cognitive Theory of Multimedia Learning A Model of How People Learn from Multimedia Lessons A lesson may contain graphics and words in printed or spoken form. The graphics and printed words enter the learner's cognitive processing system through the eyes and spoken words enter through the ears. If the learner pays attention, some of the material is selected for further processing in the learner's working memory where you can hold and manipulate just a few pieces of information at one time in each channel. In working memory, the learner can mentally organize some of the selected images into a pictorial model and some of the selected words into a verbal model. Finally, as indicated by the integrating arrows, the learner can connect the incoming material with existing knowledge from long-term memory, the learner's storehouse of knowledge. As you can see, there are three important cognitive processes indicated by all the arrows in the figure. Selecting words and images. The first step is to pay attention to relevant words and images in the presented material. Organizing words and images. The second step is to mentally organize the selected material in coherent verbal and pictorial representations. Integrating. The final step is to integrate incoming verbal and pictorial representations with each other and with existing knowledge. Meaningful learning occurs when the learner appropriately engages in all of these processes.